Hi everyone, in this video we're going to go through the installation process for the latest version of the Blender and networking add-on. We're also going to look at the update process um, and uh, please note that this tutorial applies to the latest version of the network add-on which is 1.1.5. It is possible that this tutorial will no longer be relevant in the future um, at, which point I'll make, at which point I'll make a new one um, but I, I'm assuming this will be valid for a number of subsequent releases. So. Uh, to get started, you first need to navigate to my GitHub repository, um, and this particular uh, repository is BGE Network Add-on. So if you go to github.com forward slash agu77 forward slash BGE underscore network underscore add-on, you'll be presented with this page. Now navigate to the releases section, and you'll see that there is a latest release. Please make note that for this particular repository, you need latest release. For the later dependency, you do not want to download the later release, and I'll explain that later on. So here for this latest release, you can click on it, and you'll see that there are three downloads. Now, the first download is the one that you need to download. The second two are the source code. They're practically identical, except that if you try and install the source code zip using Blender, it will fail when you try to import it for a number of reasons. Um, no, for a single reason, sorry, uh, due to the naming convention of the zip, the zip file um, and also the folder inside of it. So you need to download this particular file, and I've already done this, and I've placed it inside of this install tutorial folder just so I can keep it clean. Now, once you've downloaded this, wait, because we need to now install an another dependency. You do not install it into Blender yet. Go to the depend upon link, which I only started creating for version 1.1.5 because of a new system, uh, and click on that, and you'll see that it takes you to another release of a different um, library called PyAuth Server. This is most of the networking code that actually does the multiplayer stuff, so this is quite important. And you'll see that coincidentally this is the latest release. It doesn't mean it has to be the latest release. Just download the one that you get linked to. So if here you want to download the first link, the source code zip link, uh, and I've already done that, and it's inside of the install tutorial folder. At this point, the tutorial takes uh, a, a fork, depending on whether you have Python installed or not. If you have the, the same version of Python installed as Blender, um, then which has to be 64 bits if Blender is 64 bits, or 32 bits if Blender is 32 bits, and the same minor version, so 3.4 if Blender is using 3.4. It doesn't matter if it's 3.4.2 or 3.4.3 as long as it's a version of 3.4. Um, and that will change as Blender is updated. Um, and at the moment, Blender is using um, Python 3.4 point something. So you can see this um, by going to the Python console and you'll see that it says Python 3.4.2, 64 bit. So that's the version of Python you would need to install if you didn't already have that. Okay, so I'm going to first show you how to install it with Python installed. Uh, first, extract your PyAuth server zip, and I'm going to extract it into the same folder. And this might take a little bit of time because it's um, quite a big folder. Uh, and once this is finished unzipping, you'll need to open up a command prompt window. So here's a command prompt window. Um, and what you need to do is copy, open up the PyAuth server folder, copy the path and paste it into your command prompt. In, in fact, before you do that, first type, you need to navigate to the working directory. So um, because my folder is on a D drive, I first need to type D. If it was on the C drive, you usually wouldn't have to. And then I'm going to type CD, which means change directory. And I'm going to paste in the folder that the, that the networking code is actually inside of. Now what I need to do is type Python setup.py install and hit enter and what that will do is it will install my network add-on into Python. Now this may or may not fail because I already have um, lots of versions of my networking code that I've been working on um, for me but for you this should work. And so once this is done we can then move forward and so there we go. So to test that this has worked if you type Python in the same console window and then type import network and you'll see that it hasn't failed or thrown any errors, and so therefore it worked. Right, now if you do not have Python installed, the process is slightly different. So I'm going to delete my zip file because I need to uh, clear all the stuff out of it, re-extract it. 
So you would extract your networking zip file. And then what you need to do is navigate inside of that zip file, which I'm going to do now. And inside of this file, you'll see three folders that we need to take. Game system, network, and BGE game system. So copy those. And now you need to paste them into the site packages folder of your Blender installation. To find that, go to um, the Python um, folder of the Blender installation. So for me, that's in my C drive. And it's in Program Files. It's in Blender Foundation, Blender, 2.74, Python, Lib. And then Site Packages and then you'd paste these into here and then you're done now to test that this actually does work you need to open up your version of blender and uh, I'm using a version of 2.74 and type import network so first you can test that the network installed now that we've uh, tested it's worked from either method you can now install the networking add-on now, because I've already installed it, I'm just going to quickly uninstall it for you. And now you, I can install it. So open up the user preferences by file user preferences or the shortcut and click install from file. Now I'm going to navigate to my, my folder where I downloaded the zip file earlier, which is the install tutorial folder. And you'll see that I have a BGE network add-on file. If I install from file, you'll see that I get a new option. Now if you do not get this and you get an error then please report it onto the um, onto the same place you got the download from and you'll see that um, there's a sidebar uh, issues tab. If you click that you can add a new issue and I'm, I'm trying to deal with them as they come, come in. Um, now try enabling it. This may also fail and if it does you need to um, report that again. Now when you first install it, it's going to throw an update window. And this update window basically tells you whether or not your versions of your libraries match. Now mine tells me that they don't match. Um, and this is because most likely I'm using some old code. So I need to check that and fix that. But you won't see this window unless you're using an out-of-date version. So here this says that um, the version of the add-on and the network system do not match, so I'd need to re-download the latest network library because this is the one in red. Now when I do that and it fixes it, you'll see this, which tells you it's up to date. Now, if you do not use this, let's say that I'm using an old version of the add-on, it'll tell you that a newer version of the add-on is available and you therefore need to download um, a new version. And I've got some errors here that I need to fix as well. But that's the update system. Uh, and you can check for updates at any time by going to um, the user preferences window, clicking on the PyOS server BGE add-on and clicking check for updates. And because mine thinks it's out of date, it'll tell me that it's out of date. If nothing is wrong, it will not open a, a web browser window. Now, this might get tedious uh, if you're always having to if it's always telling you that it's out of date. So if you don't want to check for updates on startup, um, you can disable this checkbox. I would not recommend doing that because you won't get the latest updates to the system, which may fix bugs. Um, so leave that, but it's just there if you really do need, uh, want to ignore the messages for a while. And there you have it. So that's how the uh, add-on works. If at any time you get stuck, you can click on the documentation link, um, and there you can see the, um, the PyOth server documentation. And there's not that much there at the moment, but it will get bigger. Um, alternatively, you can click Report a Bug if you find an issue. And it's the Issues page on my GitHub. Uh, and that's basically everything there for now. So thank you guys for watching, and I will keep you updated.